Too much water. Yeah, you're pretty much too much water. Too Ooh. much water, man. Just too much water. Too much Let's water. get started. So, we're talking about the too much water game. That's what they're <sighs> calling it, by the way. It's the too, too much, much water. Oh, Pokemon game. too much water version? Yeah, yeah. Pokemon too much water. Water gate. That's hysterical. This Pokemon too much water and too much too water. Too much version. water gate. This is this Pokemon water and Pokemon too much water. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, shit. So if, if you guys haven't seen it, the freaking IGN review. Nah, yo, everyone's seen it. There is no if you haven't seen it. Everybody knows Everyone knows, knows about too much water. Everybody knows so, about this. This game has so, too much water. It's definitely the worst Pokemon game ever made, and I don't suggest anyone getting it. All right, that's it. It's your it's your it's your okay, time. so, so, I don't usually call women bitches, but this bitch is a bitch. <laughs> that was the most, that was, that was the most perfect, perfectly structured sentence I've ever heard in my life. This bitch is a bitch. Perfect. Ew, why did, Flawless. Ew, why did you hit? Is a bit. I wasn't gonna win. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> he just so, quit. <laughs> I agree. So, that bitch is a bitch. So okay, let's let's just start All right, no, no, okay. She's not a bitch. I just think she doesn't. I just think she doesn't really know what she's. I don't. I don't know her source material. All right. Um, I feel like. Oh no no no! You go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. It's it's obvious. This is like her third Pokemon game. Like you can fucking hear her. I don't know who reviewed it before. I know she reviewed X and Y. And it's she like did her first a great game was job Troze. in X and Y. Huh? It's like her first game was Troze. Oh, shit. Is that, <laughs> even, is that even a game, yo? Did anyone okay, play that shit? Okay. <laughs> that was I a running game. I think she reviewed wow. X and Y, and she did a great job. But the fuck happened? Just completely... Too much water. Yeah, there was, there was just too much water, yo. Hold on. I agree. There's, there's nothing you can do about that. Game, though? <laughs> yes, there is too much. No, it's like they're making the game. All right, we don't have enough. Let's just put water on it. Let's just throw some water. <laughs> Let's just throw some water. water it. Call it a day. We don't have enough land. Throw in more water. What? I command. You guys what know is home is based off. What, 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 what freaking what is it based? Hold on. I it's based off a it's tropical off. island. I know that it's in Japan, right? It's based it's off of the tropical island, right under Japan, and it's beautiful. If you actually see the pictures of that island, the island is beautiful. Mind you, this Hoenn is beautiful. So, obviously, a fucking tropical island, known as Hoenn, is going to have water all over the fucking place. I think the main Let's question just here is, did she ever play Hoenn. any other version to know that this Let's was just definitely going to be heavily based around water? Because let's just the original Gen 3 was heavily based around water. What did you- Let's just get started. Let's just get started. That's the thing. She didn't fucking know. She did it. Like, for me, for me, if I were going to review a remake of the game, I'm going to compare it to the old game. Um, that's, what, that's, that's what I feel like you should do. I wouldn't say compare it, but any complaints that no, no, no. were based or that are like from the original, you should probably keep intact. Because they were take probably away, put Take away the water. Wait, Gen 3. Hello? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> it's like taking away the. Exactly, taking away the Gen 3. Like, that doesn't even make sense. It just happens, but yeah, man. Let's just get started. Get to Gen 3 when we get to Gen 3. Alright, sorry. All right, let's, 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 let's start with Gen 1. What is everybody's experience with Gen 1? Fucking. Oh, oh, I did. love Gen 1. Pokemon Fire Red was my first experience with Gen 1, and like, the second. No. The third Pokemon game I ever played. Damn, son. I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys about how that shit happened, but it was the third Pokemon game I ever played. Anime dude saw the motherfucking anime, based the game around the fucking anime. You know how it had to be. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty much my experience. Charizard, enough said. I didn't even know how to. I, I didn't know anything, yo. Eevee's, Ivy's, none of that shit. Fucking Charizard, Blast Burn. That's it. Water type, Blast Burn. All of that. Nothing else. And fly. That was the shit too. All right. That's yeah, it. yo. Yeah, <laughs> yo. You yeah, mean yo. I don't get hurt yeah. for one turn yo. and I get to hit somebody really hard? Why the fuck did I, I use it? All right. So, so for my first experience with Gen One, it was my second Pokemon game ever. Um, I'm playing. I'm playing the first Gen after I play the second Gen. Me, you know, so I'm coming in here knowing a little bit more than what people did when they first got their Pokemon game. Mind you, this, this is like 
It was like right before Gen 3 comes out. So I'm playing Gen 1, and I'm like, holy shit, these graphics are ass, but this game is so much fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I'm, I, I got my Charizard, and that's the like really the only Pokemon I use was Charizard. I'm going through these. Son, I defeated Brock with Ember. Like, ooh, ooh, I ain't no fucking Metal Claw. Ember. Ember! Metal Claw didn't exist back then. Oh, and wait, yeah, that's right, you had red. God damn, son. Yeah, yo, I'm using, I'm using Tackle and Ember to, be, to defeat Brock. When it came to Misty, yo, there's, I don't even, I didn't, I lost count after 10 times. God, that losing. ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, yo, I'm like, oh yo, what am I going to do? Son, I had to catch up. I, what, 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 what freaking Pokemon? What is, Bellsprout? I think, I think I got a, I got Ooh, a victory bell? Yeah. Bellsprout? <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> That was, oh. <laughs> that, was that, was that was my second ball. So I went back. I went back. Victory to bell, route. bruh. I went back the route in between uh, Cerulean City and Mount Moon, yo. I was like, yeah, no, I gotta catch a bell sprout. So I caught a bell sprout, and that, yo, that bell sprout saved my life. So that, oh my gosh, yo, did you? It learned Razor Leaf, I think. What is it? I think that's what it learned. I'm Fine not way. sure. Vine Whip, that's what it learned. Vine Whip, yo, I was destroying the, that star me and star you, yo. I was. <laughs> Ooh, that's the sound so, effect it made, yeah. Yeah, that's the sound effect it made. So, come to the third gym, yo. Come to the third gym. I'm like, how am I going to beat this Raichu? Bruh, I went back to my anime routes, yo. I went back to uh, the forest. Got me a freaking Pikachu. Bro, you did not throw a Pikachu at a Raichu. Yeah, like, I'm gonna fucking beat this nigga, yo. I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna take, but I'm gonna win. He should. I picked up that, I picked up that Pikachu and I trained the fuck at him. I think that Pikachu, son, that Pikachu. Was I trained the fuck out of him. Son, son, that Pikachu was boss, yo. I actually beat the third Pikachu. Oh, did you just say? That Pikachu was mouse, bro. Nah, <laughs> yeah, yo. Let me tell you how this nigga was mouse. This nigga was mouse as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> dog. Dog. So. That yellow mouse. So. I, mouse. I hate that yellow so you mouse. After the third gym, you, you go, you, you, you do the little Saint Anne thing. You beat the gym. You wake up Snorlax, which I did not catch. It. Cause I couldn't catch him. I don't know. Oh what? man, I use a Snorlax. No, Corey and Dante named their Snorlax after me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Corey, you think I, remember that. <laughs> you think I remember that? So I think you Lavender Town, right? That was some cold <laughs> shit, y'all. You gonna name a dude so, after a Snorlax? So after, Snorlax. after after the third gym, you go to Lavender Town, from what I remember, right? Third? Nah. Uh, nah. What? what? Nah. Maybe maybe fifth. Really? What are you, what's after the fourth gym? Or the third gym? No, I think you go to Lavender Town before you even go to the third gym. Really? No, no, you don't. No, you the, don't. No, because <laughs> the third gym, because second gym is Misty. You go meet, you meet, uh, you meet Bill, and then you go, like, right after, is like, right there, is, is, uh, uh third gym. Like, I think it's Gen 1, F and I, so. You got the motherfucking yeah. Rock Tunnel, but then wasn't Lieutenant Surge right in front of the Rock Tunnel? <laughs> Yeah. No. Oh, no, Lieutenant Surge was in front of the rock. Lieutenant Surge was in Viridian. Yeah, he was in the SP. Viridian is in the Diglett Cave. Diglett Cave, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, so you go through the Diglett Cave, you come out in Viridian. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, then you find Lieutenant Surge, then you go back to um, fucking Lavender Town because fucking Gary doesn't have his Rider Cave anymore and we all think he died. Yeah, and uh, and what else? Uh, that's and that's that, a whole different. And, and you need to go to Lavender Town to get the Pokey Flute to wake up uh, Snorlax, so you can go down to uh, that town where Fuji is uh, gym uh, leader. Is that Saffron City? No, it's not Saffron. No, Saffron. That's, that's way later. I'm loafing. Yeah, Saffron yeah. is way later, dude. Saffron is uh, Saffron is with uh, Sabrina. It's the freaking city you get your from right. and you Route, uh, 10, Route 9, Cerulean City. No, no. Uh, Cerulean Flow. Go, yeah, go Cerulean City, Route 10, Route 9, Route 10, and then Lavender Town. Or you can go... You came You came to Lavender Town from the top, right? 
yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah that, that's from um, that's from Cerulean City. And if you go to the left, then it's Saffron. And you can't do anything in Saffron until uh, until much later. Yeah. Alright, cool. Now it's making sense. God damn. And then, alright, alright, fuck it. Yo, okay. that complicated as fuck. Gen but, 2. Gen 2. Huh? Gen 2. We can't just go with Gen 2 yet. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, right. Oh, oh, ooh, I got a confession to make with Gen 1, though. What you mean? I never beat it. You, you never, what? Yeah, never really? beat it. Really? You never no, beat I mean, Gen 1? I've got a story about Gen 1. I never beat the original Red Blue because I couldn't save now, my shit. Now, the reason why I never beat Red was because at the last gym, when I found out that Giovanni was the uh, the eighth gym leader, I beat him. I'm going through the... the uh, Victory Road. The, yeah, the Victory Road. Oh, and yeah, then by right the way, there. Victory Road in Gen 1, uh, no, 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 no. There's listen, no listen. fighting. There's no fighting. Listen, and then right there, right then and there, my internal battery dies. Oh. oh. So well, I let, let's just let's just talk about how fucking Gen 1's champion theme is like one of the most legit champion themes ever. Oh, most Don't definitely. Mm-hmm. Like this right, shit. Even you, we already bit. know Gen 2's champion theme is the shit. Nah, we'll talk about the themes later. Right, Yo, even so, in 8 bit, that shit is so legit. Yeah, it is. Speaking of speaking of Gen 1 champion themes, I am going through I am I I'm going through Gen 1 and I am on the last fight. I'm I'm fighting uh I'm fighting Lance. Oh, no, no, hon, I'm fighting Blood. Lance. I think that's the last fight. That's Gen I think 2. That's la- I know Gary comes next. That's but, Gen uh, 2. Oh shit, Lance was in Gen 1. You're right. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he was part of the Elite Four. I, I he was, he, Lance, he was I, the fourth one. And I, and I think Lance is the last guy. And this is my first playthrough, so I had Charizard because everybody had Charizard. As before, I found, as before I found out about my favorite little guy, Squirtle. Uh, all right, but I I got him up to ninety eight. And I got him up to no, I got him up ninety five at the beginning of the fight. Oh, you talking no. about a Wartar, right? No, no, no. You I mean, I'm talking about right? No, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about my Charizard. Oh, Charizard, all right, my bad. Charizard yeah, right. is like level ninety eight at the beginning of the fight, and I'm like, yo, I bet I can, I bet on my, I bet on the last Pokemon he'll level up to a hundred, and uh, no, he leveled up. Ninety nine, but he leveled up on the second Dragonite to a hundred. Ooh. And I was like, no. Right, though, that statement. On the second Dragonite, out of like seven. He had three. He has three. <laughs> that's still too many yeah, fucking that's, Dragonite. that's way too many. What do you mean? Oh, he only had three. It's okay. No, this nigga had three of the same Pokemon. Every last Hello? One of, every last one of them on the left. Wasn't Dragonite the only dragon in Gen 1? Uh, his, yep. his chain was the only dragon types. Huh? His chain was the Tell only what? dragon types. Yeah. All this man's Dragonite were under level 55. What do you expect him to have? What? Freaking... <laughs> I don't know. He could have a. Ch- he could have something that at least looks like a dragon. Fucking Charizard. Right there. I mean, he could have a Charizard. You're I right. mean, up until like Gen three, niggas thought Charizard was the dragon. <laughs> they just labeled it wrong. Son, I, I could have sworn when I had my Charizard, I thought it was a dragon. Pokemon. Well, anyway, Gen one was good and all, but it just didn't leave that big. Of, it, like, so it just should have made him. They should have made him a a dragon Stop fire type. Yeah, that'd be. Like, Gen one, I probably wouldn't play it as much because it's not my kind of game. Like, I, I agree. I think you know, Gen, Gen one was good, but I it, I wouldn't say it set like a stage of yo, I gotta play all of them now. It was just like yeah, that was good. I wonder what the others are like. Yeah, He's like, okay, well, let's wait for the next one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it was like. It wasn't like yo. Like okay, well, let's go into the next one, which is Gen two. By the way, right. Gen, my opinion. All right, no bullshit. I, I agree. No I love shit. Gen 2 more everyone, than any other every, gen. Everyone has their opinion. So, let me start real quick. I remember Gen 2 was the first fucking game I ever played. I think it was Gold. It was probably Gold. No, no, never mind. It was Crystal. Because I remember fucking, I remember chasing the shit out of Sweet Food. Now, over all the way. I remember encountering this man once. <laughs> and that's all I remember from fucking Silver. Now, afterwards, later on in my life, I played Hard Gold and Soul Silver, and I do not like Gen 2. Gen 2 is kind of underwhelming. It's like, all right, here's this vast land that's, you know, very small, has the smallest roster of Pokemon, and, you know, very unmemorable gym leaders. I remember Claire, because she's a bitch. 
and the ghost guy, and then Whitney. I don't even have to talk about that. So, champion, Lance, not bad. Other Elite Four. I don't fucking remember them. I don't remember anything. My rival, I don't even remember him having an impact other than just, hey, I, I'm your rival because that's just standard in Pokemon. Like, yeah, I don't even... steal Pokemon. Yeah, like, I didn't, I didn't even give a fuck about this guy. Like, not, not alone, he was a fucking dick, too. I mean, yeah, he was a dick, but it was like, you're not even a threat. Get off my planet. You're fucking... I, I, when I ran into him, it wasn't like, you son of a bitch. It was like, oh my god, I really just don't feel like battling you right now because it's a waste of my fucking time. Like, it didn't feel like... To be honest, it didn't feel like I really had to try. So that, that's how I felt about May in Gym Three. Yes, that's three. how I felt about May too. I was gonna say that. Like, all right, oh, all right. We'll talk about we'll talk about that later because we'll I got a little stance on that one. Say, oh, why don't we we'll test talk about that later. Pokemon? Like, no, no. no, we'll talk about that later because I got a stance on that one too. But it was like I, I couldn't really care for the game. It's like fucking Johto as a region. I think it's terrible. I think it had like I don't know. I want to say we got Espeon, Crobat, Heracross, Tyranitar. Um, Scizor. Scizor. Oh my God! Yes. The dog. Like well, it didn't have much. It didn't have much going for it. General by itself is just so yeah. tiny. I would say the best part about that game, or the part that I like the most about that game, is going back to Kanto. And I feel like that's kind of like, well, shit. This region isn't good enough. Let's just throw in the other one too. I know that wasn't the original intent, of course, but like that's what it feels like to me. Like, without the second freaking reason, that game would be so short and it wouldn't be as good. I mean, yeah, the music's good. Some of the music's pretty good and all, and some of the folks aren't that bad, but it doesn't have oh, enough no, going no. for it. Like, the music was exactly. amazing. I, I, can, I, can't, I swear to you, I can't find it memorable. I remember the cave theme. That was fucking awesome. And the champion theme. Okay, hold on. One thing about Gen 2. When, when, you, when you beat the Elite Four, there's nothing really to do. I forget who tells you, uh, all right, you should go check out Mount Silver. What were your thoughts when you got to the top of Mount Silver? I all right, so I I don't I don't remember shit from from fucking we fucking Christmas. But when I played Hard Gold and Soul Silver, I already knew about this. Let me tell you how I was like, yo, this is me. I'm about to beat my ass. Let's fucking go. Why did this man wreck me like at least four times before yo, I was able to? Dude, actually... yo, see here's the I thing. You don't know. Beat Red. What do you mean? So I go up Stop to this man me. and I'm like, yo, let's go. And he just flips his hat and looks at me and I'm like, I fucked up, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> yo, I so what? He just shows you one eye. He's like, mm. dude, me. you had no idea yo. because in Gen two, you just go up Mount Silver. Almost every Pokemon you run into is uh, what's that Pokemon that uh, rolls around the. Uh, uh, the um, um, fuck, the I elephant. Um, the, rolls around. Don fan. Don fan. Don fan. They're like level fifty Don fans rolling all over that bitch. Fucking uh, rabbit. You get, you get up to the top. You you find red, and he and you walk up to him. You turn. He turns around. Just dot. Just dot. Yo, wait, where's anything. the dialogue? Hold on. I'm in, a, I'm in a battle. Wait a minute. He didn't even look at me. Yeah, and then you fight. And his 81 Pikachu wrecks any Pokemon you bring out. Doesn't it matter if it's ground type, over. it will He's, wreck. He has 88 Pikachu with Volt Tackle. That fucking Pikachu took out at least three of my Pokes with a Volt Tackle alone. After that, I just got swept by this fucking Charizard. I was done. Yeah, you know, it's just like, well, shit, how do I. Anyway, anyways. Um, so <laughs> how did he do this? What the shit? How did he do that? Game. My first Pokemon game. What? I. Fucking fell in love with Pokemon with Gen 2. I know you guys don't really like it, but Gen 2 is probably one of my favorite gens. I can respect it, yo. If that's your oh. favorite then, if that's your favorite gen, that's your favorite gen. Can't be mad at you. It's just it, worth it. It's, it's just, more of a nostalgia thing though. That's okay, the sorry. Thing. It's not the worst one, in my opinion, it's the weakest one. Yeah, there we go. Now the reason why I loved it was because I remember how I got it. Now, I'm I'm just moving into my neighborhood and the people left a little bit of stuff behind. Mind you this, I already had a Game Boy and I, and I was getting tired of it. Cause I'm like, mom, I want new games for it. I don't have any game. I go into my room, I'm sitting there and I see something in the corner in the window. I'm like, what is that? What is this? What is this? And Next thing you like, know, the old I, game I look at it and games. I'm like, what the heck is the old game on Game Boy Advance games? They all fat. 
<laughs> no, it wasn't even a Game Boy Advance game, dude. It was a Game Boy Color game. Yeah, son. Game Boy Color. I was rocking my Game Boy Color. So I put it into my Game Boy Color, and I'm like, what the heck is Pokemon? Son. Ah. Uh, uh, son. Uh, and then uh, ever, uh, ever since then, yo. Ever since then, yo. Ever since then, we've been in love. Like, I didn't even have to pay for my first Pokemon game. Lucky like, bitch. I found it in my house. I was Oof. just, it was like it was meant to be. No, nah, man. Uh, the the way I got my first Pokemon game is my cousin, my cousin gave me his red version. Uh, I forget what I gave him for him to give me his red version. And then uh, I beat that. So I'm like, okay, blue must be completely different. <laughs> so I go to GameStop with my dad and my dad buys me blue and uh, so I start playing it and then I realize that uh, then I real well I'm trapped in uh, trapped in that place you get Articuno there's no way to get out and then we go back in and I'm like hey man I think this is broken I'm pretty sure it wasn't broken I just wasn't trying hard but uh, he uh, the guy said sure you can take this one instead he just handed me silver. That was possibly the best gaming experience I had for the next 10 years. Hey, it, wait, was, it was such Ew. a fun game. It was Ew. such a fun game. Really? What year was this though? What year? What, what year was it? like 2002, 2003. Ooh. Oh, for me, it was like, yeah, it was like So for the next 10 I years, had... that was the best gaming experience you had? No, word. I can yeah, respect man. that because a lot I of like, games kind of just like. Pokemon. Nah, for the next 10 years, nah, there's a couple of good games that came out for me. Nah, yo, but he probably there didn't are, give him the, the same play. experience. He probably didn't give him, like, yo, <clears throat> this is the fucking shit. Like, all right, for I you, but play... nah, right, I understand. I mean, I can understand for you. You didn't play, if you didn't play that in many games like that on the Pokemon. Hey, but real quick, though, how the fuck did we skip missing now? Oh, shit, that's right. I never got missing now, yo. I didn't even know about that. I thing. never knew about missing now. I never I encountered that thing until fucking right. the internet and creepypastas. Dude. I knew about the course. I, I found out about missing now after, after like, like two or three years ago. Yeah, I knew about it, but a friend of mine showed this to me in school one day. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? Your game is <laughs> yo, what the fuck is that on your team? Like, nah, bro, get that shit away from me. Broken. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? No. My nigga, for me, for game? me Pokemon, <laughs> because I was really young when I played it, I didn't know what Missing No was. Yeah, yeah I, I never knew what Missing No was. But yeah, like, my Gen 2 really? Like Corey, my Gen 2 experience was I never played the original uh, Gold or Silver or Crystal. I didn't know, I didn't really know about the game until fucking, what, Hard Gold? I didn't really play it until like, Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Other than that... Nah, it's probably why I don't have like a giant attachment like everyone else in Gen 2. No, it's not it's not an attachment. I feel like the originals were better. No, but everyone no, I mean, has like an a attachment to that generation, dude. Like everyone loves Jonah. Like every, for some reason, I don't know why. Like, don't get me wrong, the fucking TV show, their themes, they were fucking legit until so Advanced Battle came around and just took the throne. But Advanced Battle. We'll so get there when we get there. We get there when we get there. I just don't. I just don't really see the giant hype of it. Like it's such a small region. It, until Gen Six, they had the smallest roster of Pokemon. It. Uh, I just don't see the giant appeal of it. And then the fucking roaming legendaries. Why would they do that? I like that concept. I know. It's me too. Stupid. Um, well, I like it. I, th I feel like it gives you something to do after you beat the game, and you don't just go to it. You have to find this nigga. You have to leave one city. And then come right back to that route, sure. and then leave that city again, and then come right back Lost to the route like just to get this man. Catch it before he runs away like a little bitch. Yeah, man, you gotta you gotta have a team of Wobbuffets, yo. Nobody wants that shit. No, oh, you my about, I'm gonna talk about that in Gen Three. If you kill, you can't have a team of Wobbuffets though, because not just our team, you're probably gonna end up killing them. All right, yo, we're moving on. <laughs> I feel like we should skip Gen Three, and we're gonna come back to Gen Three at the end. By the way, in All right, Gen Four. Gen 4. Gen 4. Alright, yo. Um, no, 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 I got this, I got this, I got this. After Gen 3, I quit Pokemon because I was the generic, stereotypical little asshole and I'm like, Pokemon's for kids, whatever. So I leave this shit. So I'm at fucking school one day and I see some that one of my other friends has fucking Pokemon. So I'm like, alright, let me just look at this shit real quick. I see this nigga has Lucario. I'm like, damn, yo, I heard about that man. I still watch the anime, you know, in my own little piece, cause you know I can't Everybody tell me with that. Movie. I lose, can't tell me with that. I lose your reputation. 
So, I see this nigga has a Lucario, I'm like, damn, son, you got a Lucario? Damn, son, the animation when he throw a Pokemon out? That shit is real, yo. All right, maybe. So I move on. Later in my life, I meet this nigga Drew. This nigga Drew is like, yo, Platinum is my favorite Pokemon game ever. I'm like, what's up with that generation? Something happens, I, I don't know how, but Daniel, I got your pearl, or Denton's diamond. Something happened, and I got somebody's no, no, no. game, no, you, and they were you like- got, No, 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 no. All right, there's this, there's a long ass story with that because, um, make it short, man. Make it short. All right, all right. So the story comes in. in the my story meets with Corey's because Corey, Corey, me and Corey been going to school like since forever. So, um, my first Pokemon, my first fourth gen was Diamond. I got it when it came out, legit. Um, at that time, I really loved fucking Pokemon. So, when it came to, I uh. I bought the game. I played it. I'm like, all right, this game's all right. It's no Gen 3. It's okay. So, come up. Platinum comes out. I get Platinum. And I'm like, bro. They just completely put me sideways, inside out, in some weird-ass dream world. I love Platinum. Platinum is awesome. I love everything about Platinum. But then... I met my friends in middle school, and they were like, yo, why are you still playing Pokemon? It's all about Xbox. So, <laughs> so, nah, we play Xbox. so I stopped playing Pokemon right after uh. Platinum, and I sold my DS for a hard drive for my Xbox. Okay, so, like Corey That's a good trade. That's a and, good no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not done. So, okay, okay. come here. Come a few, like, I think a year, a, a year or so later. I'm in high school. Corey's, Corey talks about his story and shit, and he's like, "Yo, Daniel, you play Pokemon still?" I'm like, "Nah, I don't have a, I don't have a DS." So this man goes out of his way, makes Skippy give me his DS, <laughs> <laughs> and he gives me Pearl, I'm and I'm like, that, yo. "Bruh, for real?" <laughs> he's like, "Dog, you gotta play this with me." So. <laughs> So, so at the end of the day, Corey brought me back into Pokemon. And this was right before Gen 5 came out, too. We were playing the shit out of Pearl and Platinum before um, before Gen 5 comes out. And that's really that's really how everything started from now. Is is just so fun. Just everything was fun. Like, but. Um, the Gen 4 mixes into Gen 5 story because that my Gen 4 story was kind of short. All right, hold on. So let I'm going to wait me, for everybody to say my this Gen shit. 4 story. So, playing fucking Pokemon, right? <clears throat> it's the shit. Whatever. It's usual. But I'm not getting the same feel that I got from Gen 3. I'll go into that shit later, too. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, whatever, whatever. I get to the legendaries. I'm like, oh, shit. This is where it gets real, yo. It's about to take this me 20,000 catches to get this nigga. Them shits were easy. One Pokeball. Catch this nigga so I don't Deontay. remember this shit. You were mad as fuck. Of course, You're being, like, of course, being an experienced this. person in Pokemon, I'm like, let me say it before I fight him. One Pokeball <laughs> caught this nigga. I'm like, all right, time out. Let me turn this shit off. Maybe I got lucky. I try this shit again. Four Pokeballs. Bro, what? Why is it so easy? What's the problem? I don't understand. I was, I was so disappointed, yo. I was like, the Pokemon are good, but I don't really feel connected with it it's just like i'm just going through an adventure because fuck it why not not because i want to fucking become the gen 4 pokemon master i just want to fucking play a game so i'm sitting with the dude drew and he's like i fucking love gen 4 and i'm like why this man shows me platinum and i'm like yo they fucking threw everything in this game there is shit to do there are fucking goals like that game was the shit yo Origin form Giratina. I'm like, whatever. Easy the shit. hardest motherfucker to catch ever. I don't think I ever caught him. <laughs> oh my god. I, don't, I think That's I tried fault. to get him and I was like, fuck this shit. No, I'm done. I quit. Fuck it. Like, that shit was fucking hard, fuck yo. That shit was sudden. There were so many Rage Knights with me playing that game. I was so freaking mad. Get in the damn ball. Did not want to stay in the damn ball, yo. Dude, no, I eventually threw a master ball at him. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck you. That, hold on, <laughs> that reminds me. 
when I was playing Diamond, I found this place where you, I found the place where you find uh, Giratina, and I go in and I and I'm just walking around. You know, it's got the four doors. I just keep walking around, and in less than a minute, I find Giratina. I didn't even know what I was looking for. I find Giratina, <laughs> and I I catch him on my first try. Not lying, catch him on my first try. And I'm Regular like, Giratina, wow, right? He's in. Wow, if he's in there. Let me go back. Let me see what all else I can find. Oh my God, I found so many Reaper cloths and so many uh, rare bones. Eh. I spent too much time looking for something interesting in there. I believe you. Giratina is one thing. What were you for? Yeah, or yeah that was. Right. That was Son, going through that freaking inside out backwards freaking uh, world, yo. So that world. shit got me mind fucked. Plat Platinum hit it on the spot, yo. And they even introduced <coughs> one of my favorite Pokemon, motherfucking Weavile. I love this dude. Yo, they were like, yo, let's add evolutions to, po to Pokemon that don't have them. Sneasel got yeah, an upgrade. They had that diamond. Electabuzz got an upgrade. Yeah, Magmortar. Yeah, well, Magmortar is kind of icky. But Electivire is a threat, yo. Oh, so, Magnezone? That Magnezone, but yo, they came out with good music. Fucking, do I even need to talk about her, yo? Yo, do I even need to talk about her? No, your boo, we know your boo is Cynthia, okay? Do we even need to talk about how much of a fucking boss Cynthia is? Who knows how much of a boss she right. is? Oh, if if uh, Deaton was here, he he he'd get angry. Fuck him, yo. Nah, Cynthia is. I fucking love Cynthia. Absolutely. Fuck, like, first of all, first female champion. That's right. She, she doesn't even look like she fucking plays Pokemon. She just looks like, yeah, I'm sexy and I just exist to be a fucking damsel, whatever. I mean, I never get in trouble, but you just see me around. I fucking know everything. God, I fucking love Cynthia. She looks like one of those yeah. fake gamers. She's like, Screw oh, yeah, Cynthia. I'm a gamer. No, you're not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like... No, no. Screw Cynthia. Oh, you mad? You yeah, mad the first that time I was wrecking people? You mad because so, she was... So, nobody so... had a Garchomp until Cynthia came out. Nah, nah, nah. Every, you know, yeah, the first time I met Cynthia, Garchomp took out my whole team. My whole team. Nobody like, knew about okay. Garchomp until Cynthia was like, yo, let me wreck you with this real quick. Last Pokemon. You know what pissed me team. off, though? You know what pissed me off, yo? Flygon was the shit until Garchomp came out. Oh, yeah. That's true. I was like, yo, you just rendered Flygon completely useless. Yo, this is a ground dragon. What the Garchomp, fucking Godchomp. Screw Garchomp. Took Dude. out my whole team. Alright, all right. All right. So all right. says I had, I, I had to use items in that fight. Good. Good. Everybody loves Gen 4. Ooh, yeah, you had to throw out that extra Pokemon that dies so you can heal your other one. Yeah, yeah. man. The one that oh, I, I always had that. Son, I always have the scapegoat Pokemon, son. I always, like, I have five really good Pokemon, and then I have the one nigga that just, like, I I don't really like. All right, you. slave, go, b <laughs> Yeah, for real. <laughs> I wouldn't like, really say. Like, I and really it's always say the I'm tank, son. One. It's always the son, tank. Like, I think I used to run Snorlax on my team. I don't remember. Did I used to have Snow Light? can take him hit. That was back in like Fire Red. Yeah, I think, yeah, Fire Red. I'm tripping. Yeah, I wouldn't really say I love Gen 4 because when I first played Diamond, like everyone in my school was playing that shit. I'm like, yo, I really want this. But then I looked at him, I'm like, these Pokemon look like they suck. So I finally get it, play through the game. I'm like, I can't play anymore. So Platinum finally comes out. But I'll tell you, I haven't spent that much time on a Pokemon game since Emerald. I played the fuck out of that game. I did everything. No, hold on, hold on. I was hey, playing Diamond, like, and I was playing I was, Diamond, and my friend let me use his action replay, and I just went the uh, walk through walls code. Oh yeah, that was the first time. Oh, that was the first time the action replay came into Pokemon too. Yes, man. Yeah, yo, walking through walls, I was like, what? No, hold on, hold on. cheating? Didn't, no, yo, did no. That shit was unheard of in Pokemon. What? Yo, didn't abuse that action replay. Yo, hold on. Do you know what I did as soon as I got it? I'm like, okay, let me explore everything. And I found Shaman behind the, uh, behind the, you found behind, Shaman. behind the, uh, Elite Four. And just the out there, man. Incredibly long ass trail. Yes. And then, and then you'd go to the, uh, then, then you'd go to the complete other side of the world and you'd find Darkrai. Damn. Yeah, but I never did get Arceus. No one, no, no one. I got Arceus. Arceus. Like the thing about Platinum is that was like the first game I ever I ever actually got like into it. Like 
I, uh, I legitimately got Skyform Shaman. I got Darkrai. I got almost everything in the game except for Arceus. Like, I played the fuck out of that game, and it only pissed me off when I left it on a train on the Metro. Oh, man. Cried myself to sleep that night. <sighs> Alright, y'all. Gen 5. I, I did like not it. like Gen 5. No, 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 let me talk about this. So I'm in my class, right? Chilling with one of my friends. Still, a, I was still a jackass at this point. Not like I'm not now, but I was, I was like a huge <laughs> jackass back then. So, fucking chilling in my class. Fuck you, teacher. I do what I want. I don't want to fail, but I don't want to do shit. That type of dude. So, I'm, I don't know what the fuck we were doing. But then he paired me up with somebody, and I didn't fucking know anyone in the class. So I was like, fuck it, whatever. So, I pull out my iPod. I start watching Soul Eater. This dude's like, oh shit, yeah, you watch Soul Eater? Cool, whatever. You play Pokemon? Wait, Corey, what like, was his name? Shamar? I don't know. Shamar? That name sounds familiar. We'll talk, we'll talk about it later. But yo. Mustang. And this man, yeah. But this man is like, yo, you play Pokemon? I'm like, I guess. He's like, you getting the new Pokemon? I'm like, there's a new one? So I look this up. <laughs> there's, a, there's a new one? <laughs> yeah, so I look this up, I'm like, not bad, they up in the grab. These niggas move in the fight? What? Yo, there is no more hopping up and down, son. These niggas move. So I'm like, alright, I gotta get this. So I get this game. I play for a while. Fucking loving this shit. But I didn't beat it. I got like maybe to the second gym. The black lady, Lenore. So, I fucking come to school the next day. The dude's like, yeah, man, you get it? And I'm like, yeah, dude, it's pretty fucking cool. And he's like, yeah, you fucking EV train? I'm like, what's that? The fuck is you? Yeah. Son, oh my that was either. Door open. Yo, Once you heard those man, two guys. This man was like, alright, I can't explain to you what EV training is, but go home and look it up. So, me, being a jackass, there's something I don't know. I gotta know this shit. Let me fucking look this up. I didn't understand shit, yo. Like, there was no <laughs> possible way that I could know what the fuck was going on. So, I was like, shit, I got an action replay? Alright. I'm gonna give all my Pokemon max IVs, whatever the hell those are, and all of them max EVs. So I start talking shit. Yeah, man, I got this, no problem. I go online, they won't take my Pokemon. Well, why the fuck won't they take my Pokemon? I had done so much research. Gen 5 had opened up the door to fucking competitive Pokemon battle. We're talking, we're talking black and white here right now. So I'm well, playing black and white. That all started in Gen 4. Alright, so no no me, nigga, I ain't done yet. I'm playing no, you ain't fucking done. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm playing black and white. And I'm like, yeah, yo, this game is pretty cool, but it still hasn't left the Gen 3 feel on me, and there's nothing to do after I beat the game. What the fuck? So I put it down and I just move on. Then I find out they're releasing this game called Black Nah, I'm gonna pull that up later. You guys talk about black no, and white. No, no, yeah, that, that right. happens way so later. So for me, my experience with um Gen 5 was um so Corey tells me that there's a new Pokemon coming out. Mind you this, I'm playing like Pearl and shit. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. It's too Pearl. soon. Pearl. He's like, no, no, no. But look at this shit. So I mean Corey, we me and Corey, so we were waiting for days for the Japanese version to come out. Japanese version comes out. Oh, this yeah. man tells me, yo, I got the ROM. I'm like, yeah, you got the ROM. We did get the yeah. damn. Oh, we some Japanese ROMs. Son, I was like, you got the raw son. Me, McCor me, it was I think it was me. Wait, who else? Oh, me, Skippy, and Corey were playing this game before this shit even came out. It was laggy as shit, but I still wanted to play. We know? still played the fuck out of that. So this game comes out. No, no, I think this is no. This is when I meet Kiana too. So I'm uh, I got my DS. Yeah, playing it too long. Anyway, so I'm over here. I'm over here, we're waiting, we're playing the ramen shit. I'm like, okay, no, 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 no. Corey's like, no, 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 we can't play this, we can't play this. I'm like, what do you mean we can't play this? He's like, we gotta wait for it, we gotta wait for the for our version to come out. So I'm like, oh, I. So our version comes out, and I completely hate this gym. Just wasn't it, feeling it. It was wasn't way feeling too, it. it was too short, some of the pokes looked a little weird, you didn't know who the fuck to pick. That's true, it was like, the first time that they released something that actually looked pretty fucking stupid. Now, like, Pokemon I'm, back in the day still look pretty dumb. We got Voltorb and fucking. Yeah, Elect but Electric. now the selection, the selection was so small. I'm like, do, do I want this? Like, you just wanted everything that looked cool, and that wasn't a lot of shit until like way later on. Right. Yeah, there, it, there was there was a lot of Pokemon in that gen that looked cool, and then there was a lot of Pokemon in that gen that just looked 
completely stupid. Like, everything that looked weird had the best fucking stats. I'm not even gonna lie. The it was over. I'm not even gonna lie. When I first got that game, I was so hyped, dude. I bought the fucking strategy guide and everything. So I was scrolling just, through there because you oh, know, so I, I, I learned about, you know, fucking IVs and EVs and shit and competitive battle. So I'm looking through who got the best stats. So I see this Pokemon called Haxorus. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna catch that. But I keep Son, turning the page. Haxorus, yo. But I keep turning the page and I find my favorite Pokemon ever. I see this motherfucking Hydreigon and I'm like, yo. This thing is this thing is what I want, yo. This fucking dark, I want it. I want it, and, and I, I want my dragon. Hexers. So, and I got the Hexers. That was my favorite. That is my favorite Pokemon ever. Hydreigon is so, fucking shit. So, am I the only one that's mad as shit that the that the bird for that region comes in oh, at the freaking Victory Road on Pheasants? Braviary? No, man. Oh, Braviary. Bra Damn, Braviary. Because nobody wanted the. Nobody wanted that fucking pigeon. Damn, Braviary was like that. Excuse me. Nobody wanted that fucking Braviary is was the. There pigeon. is a reason um, it is on Victory Road. That thing was the shit. I mean, it's it not good for competitive bossy. battle, but yo, that thing was fuck. I mean, it might be good for competitive now. Most shit, bossy that thing was nice. Since fucking Star Raptor. Nobody wanted the fucking turkey. Yeah, that shit wasn't bad. But overall, I thought Black and White was a shit game. Wait, wait, wait! No one wanted the. You, what do you mean no one wanted Mandibuzz? No, not man. But, nah, Mandibuzz. Well, man, no one knew that Mandibuzz was good for competitive battle. Yeah, no, one knew about, no one knew about that until like fucking a year later. Yeah, no one knew about that. Though, Tarak Tarak so, so I, so I never played Black and White too. Mm. I'm gonna say that. Let me on, pull on, this out. Hold up, hold up, man. We gotta do the build up first, man. You guys are just coming out with it, man. We gotta do the build up first. So, we just gotta figure out what we're doing fine. It wasn't all that bad. Corey was hopping on and nuts, and he was enjoying that shit. Definitely. He I love that nigga. He didn't, complete the game. he didn't complete the game for like a week because he wanted to keep on refighting N because he fucking loved it. Because N is the fucking man. <laughs> so, anyway, we just got through from black and white. He's like, yo, there ain't nothing, about, nothing else to do. I don't wanna do this train shit. It's too boring. What the fuck? Platinum got it right. What you doing, black and white? Ooh, so, that rhyme, that rhyme scheme from A to Z. I, I, did not, I did not mean to do that. But anyway, so all of us are like, okay, yeah, it might get better in gray. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be all good. Months go by. Black and white, too. The fuck? Th no. There's a number. So we're all skeptical and shit because we hear that Kyurem is over here fusing with people and Pokemon are fusing like fucking Dragon Ball Z. And niggas were expecting Pokemon Gray. I don't know when that yeah. chain stopped. But... And, and freaking Ky and Kyurem is over here fusing with Pokemon. It's like, yo, this is stupid. This game is just not going to be that good. Game comes out. Oh my God. I, I have never enjoyed... I haven't enjoyed the Pokemon game like this since fucking Emerald. They did everything right. The Pokes, the story, just everything was I right. I want to buy that now. You yeah. you need to like black and white two is a game that you can go back to, and I, like, I used to the play tournament. that. The tournaments, man, you can fight all the champions. All the champions, what? all the gym leaders, all the old music. Like this game was the shit. This game was yeah. like everything you love about Pokemon. Yo, I'm bringing it back. It's in this game, the legendaries, like just everything. Black and it white was two so good. was the fucking shit. You got the refight Gaddis, you got the fight in every fucking season. You just your rival. Ah, your rival. Your rival. That, your rival. Oh my god. Yo, that is the your best rival, rival in Pokemon history. Your rival is the nigga to go to. You wish you had a friend like that in real life. Like that is your nigga. He ain't letting shit happen to you, and he ain't letting shit happen to his sister. Fucking everyone up. Pokemon and, battle now, nah, I'ma just punch you in the face. And then we got to talk about the most badass dude in that game, fucking Colrus with his boss ass thing. Oh my goodness, man. I I had to stop and just listen to the music, man, because that shit was just so good. Like if only, like if if he didn't have such a bad team, like I'm yeah, saying, it, he's supposed to be centered around something, but steel types. But his that, team it wasn't was, really good in jet. Well, nah, because they had resistance to everything. But who didn't have EQ or fighting type or fire all you type? Did was earthquake, and you were done. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then for some reason the elite four just seemed better. Like in the first game it, they were all right, but the second one just better. And I cannot believe we forgot about this. Well, not really, but Alder, worst champion ever. Like, let's just get it out, right, right, oh, out the way. Oh, my God. Alder is definitely the worst champion ever. It, it's all about Iris. Like, every time I think about champions in Gen 5, I think about Iris. Because, yeah. you know, she... I, Iris came through. Iris was like, all right, all right, you fucking with me. I'm going to pull out every dragon that you use. 
She she came through with the fucking dragon. She came through with the theme. She came through with the rainbow road. That was beautiful, man. Just good good shit, man. Fucking ten year old high school palace. Gen five for me was a no no. That Gen five made me not play Pokemon for two years. It was it was black and white that killed it, but black and white too. That shit came back hard. You know, Christmas time, I might just end up buying you black or white too. Cause you need to play that, man. That is such good shit. Is it? It, yeah, it made it's... me not. No, honestly, like black and white made me not want to play Pokemon. Trust like, me, black and white too will. Like, you don't just have a choice of just Gen Five Pokemon. You can get like a bunch of good shit, man. Like, there's just the variety in Pokemon in that game is just amazing. All right. Like, uh, when I tell you, um, freaking Platinum ain't even got nothing on black and white too, man. Even though Platinum was like fucking legit, and I played the hell of it, and I actually. Got somewhere in the battle frontier, yeah. like it, it. It got nothing on black and white too, man. Like, ah, uh, my goodness, man. All right, well, black, I, I gotta say, I gotta say, black and white two are my favorite Pokemon games ever made. So we'll see if Oras can top that. But yeah. this let's is see my if Oras can beat Pokemon that. But right. still, think black and white two stands as like the oh, best fucking. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. yeah, I think black and white two is my favorite That's Pokemon game ever. Yeah. All right, yeah. Like, you talking about nostalgia? You talking about nostalgia in a bottle? That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right so, Gen six. Uh, Everybody I knew this shit was coming. Love but love. when Gen six was announced, without any fucking anything, it was just like, "Yo, hold up. We just had Gen five. Chill the fuck out. This is too soon. We can't yeah, handle Pokemon too soon. Magic. Give us a remake. We just had a remake of Gen two. Give us a remake of Gen three. No. Like, where the fuck is it, man? Right. Nope. nope. Gen six. So, I'm like, okay. this game is going to be absolute shit. They rushed it. What? What is it? It's going to have, like, ten new Pokemon? So All the, all the starters look weird. Everyone, like, when you first saw it, everyone was like, yo, Firefox, I'm picking it. Right, yeah. they released footage. Firefox, I want it. It looks adorable. Uh. All right, so we got the base forms. The frog looks stupid. What the fuck is the green thing? All right, the, the Fennekin looks cool as shit. Second forms. Okay, Fennekin's looking a little weird. I didn't know it was a chick. Um... Now this thing, this fucking green thing is a fucking ball. I, I didn't even want to touch it before. I, don't, I wouldn't like even a... kick that thing with my own shoe. I'd have to smack that shit with a kitten in order for me to fucking have any contact with it. And they fucking frog and deer just look weird. Frog and deer look weird. Then they released we... the third ones, and I'm like, okay, this this is Del Fox. This thing is definitely... No. It doesn't even look mad. Chestnut. The green thing? Okay, now this nigga looks like he's about to wreck shit, but I already know you're slow. I ain't fucking with that. This nigga Greninja. Looking like a boss. Yo, I'ma get that frog. <laughs> Man, let's just talk about like all the freaking stuff before that though. When we all saw the fucking Mega Mewtwo. Oh my like, god, dude, Mega yo, Mewtwo. Mega, when they announced sorry, Mega's I period, Mega it was like. Evolutions, I was like, I'm not getting this game. We didn't even know about. We didn't even know that wasn't Mega Loop Evolution. All of us really thought that shit was fucking Mew three. We're all thinking, oh, yeah. where the fuck did this guy come from? Yeah, because you saw the Mewtwo first. Then, like, a few months later, you found out, oh, what's, what's this other Mew thing? And it turns out yeah. that's Pooh. And that's yeah. when they finally saw the freaking Mega Evolution. He's like, yo, what the fuck is this? Okay? Yo, and over time, they saw like, the period. They, they saw some Mega Forms. When they announced like, Mega Forms, it was just like, no, this is stupid. What the fuck is this, Digimon? Yeah, then, yo, like, everybody was like, what the fuck is this, Digimon? Yeah, then we so, saw like, fucking Charizard. Then we saw Mega Charizard, Mega Blast, was Mega Freeze, so it's like, oh, shit. What are they doing? They might be wrong. going somewhere this. They start dropping more Megas. Like, yo, I, I want this. And then they fucking... It was just weird. Like, Gen 6 was just sending, like, weird vibes. Like, yeah, I'm hyped for it because it's a Pokemon game. I, I gotta play this shit. It was weird, but you didn't want to stay away from it because you wanted to know what would happen next. And Even if they did make a Mega from YouTube, it was like, well, you... What? Even though they did that, you were like, well, what's gonna happen next? Mega Mewtwo? Uh, Mega Charizard? Mega Venusaur? Mega Blastoise? Well, what's gonna happen next? Yeah, it was a weird experience. Then the game finally came out. Mega? Everyone was playing it. We were actually all enjoying it. Like, nah, not yeah. gonna lie. Like, the first 75% of the game was very enjoyable because you can catch, like, a variety of Pokemon. Fucking Megas were getting introduced. Like, you were looking at the visuals. You could finally determine whether or not you were black or white. Like, that was like a huge ass. Like, yeah, the character customization. Like, holy crap, I can change my clothes too? I ain't gotta look like a scrap. I can change my. Ooh. Yo, yeah, the customer. The, the, the character customization, yo, I love that. Because we can be our own unique trainer. Yeah, like, it, 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 was, it was pretty legit. And then you got the skates. 
when I started skating, I'm like, oh, I can skate now. No, 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 hold up. When I saw that first screenshot of somebody moving diagonal, I almost it, died. Ah, oh, yes. No more up, down, left, right. You can do three, four, mm, yeah, three, yeah, That diagonal, it was like, what the fuck? Did he just avoid that trainer? Son, what is happening? What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie, when I first put on the skates, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be the most awkward form of movement ever. You know, I never walked well, again. Well, it wasn't that awkward because you couldn't just, you couldn't like run around diagonally unless like you were using your D-pad. Every time you use the freaking, every time you use like the freaking, um, the circle pad, you were skating. And that pissed me off for a while. I'm like, yo, like, I don't like this. I want to be able to run. Like, why am I skating? How can I get off the skates? It, it was annoying, but after a while I got used after to it. After a while you get used to it, and it's just like, I don't even walk anymore. What are you talking about? What the fuck's a bike? But yeah, we're all running through the game. I was the first person to get Omega. I was showing that shit off. First person to catch the legendary. I'm like, yo, what's up with Team Flare? Like, why do they all look so freaking creepy? Because they look like fucking clowns with fucking orange shit on. Like, Ron McDonald ain't got nothing on these niggas. And it was just stupid. Like, like yo, what is your threat? <laughs> like, their threat, like... Their whole presence didn't become a threat until they got like the ultimate weapon. It's like, oh shit, we gotta stop this dude. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, man. Like, it, it was just a weird experience. Like, after I was done with the game, I'm like, yo, it was fun though. I, I like Gen 6, fuck. but the thing was, I had fun playing it until I beat it. Yeah, like after oh, you beat it, like, that, that, was that is the old, that's the complaint of Gen 6. Gen 6 is just made for competitive battle. After you beat that game, you are EV training and breeding and all of that shit. You are not doing any fucks of Battle Frontier. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing else to do. But there's one thing I will kill it on, like, the fucking music was, there was, like, there are three songs in particular that killed me. One was the fucking trainer encounter theme. I'll play that guy, I'll play it for you guys later on. The power plant theme. Oh god, the power plant thing was fucking. Weird. I had to stop. I showed. I let. I let everyone in the day room listen to that, and they were like, "Yo, this can't be Pokemon. It sounds too good." I'm like, "Yo, I feel you." So I was just, just ah, uh, so good. And then the fucking legendary battle theme. Probably my third favorite legendary battle theme, next to Origin Form Giratina and Ho O's remix from uh, Hard Gold. It, it's good shit. But after that, it just, it just went down. Like, the game was way too fucking easy with the experience here. I'm probably, like, the only person who didn't use the experience here. And I was under level fuck, so I kind of got my ass handed to me a couple times. I haven't played any gen on a Nintendo system since 4. Ooh. Since gen 4? I, I, uh, I used ROMs of black and I used ROMs of white and, uh, black too. Okay, well, I was about to say, dude, if you miss out on Black 2, man, that's a problem. But... I could, uh, no, 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 the the ROM was terrible. I couldn't get through that much of it, so I didn't actually play that much of uh, two, Black 2. I, I did beat the hell out of White 1. But yeah, Gen 6 left the impression of, like, Black and White 1. Like, it wasn't that bad. I enjoyed it, but afterwards, it's like, yo, I can't do much. The freaking post-game story... It actually kind of creeped me out a little bit because freaking girl in the robotics who's just going around just whooping motherfuckers' asses. It's just like, damn, chill. I gotta <laughs> so I didn't even pay attention to the story in Gen 6. I, I, I thought she was gonna die. But I yeah, yeah, well, yeah, like, visually and stuff, I, I enjoyed Gen 6 story. It was actually, it actually kind of like, I don't know, it was, uh, it was very interesting. It was new. It was yeah, new, but yeah. It was new to know that Do you, you, do you know died. that this is the first time in Gen 6 someone has died in Pokemon? Um, I want to say something like that happened in Gen 4. What happened to the crazy motherfucker? What um, happened to who? Cyrus. Cyrus. Oh my god. Yo, he got left in the distortion world. You just never saw him again. Oh god. It's basically I don't know. Like I feel like that. that's like being sent to the Phantom Zone. You're kind of nah, not It's like dead. being sent to the Shadow Realm, man. No, but he can get out though. That's the thing. You just never saw him again because he was like, you know what? This is a world that's pure. No one's touched yet. You know what? I'm just gonna make this shit mine. Y'all just get the fuck out of here. This is my space. Get off my couch. Y'all come back in here. I'm whooping y'all ass. Y'all got luck. There you go. He's not dead. But the fuck happened to that nigga in Gen Six, yo? That nigga AZ. has to be dead. Az? Yeah. No, no, no. Other no. nigga. Um, Lysander? Lysander? Yeah. No, he has to be dead. 
No, he's still alive. You just not, never saw him again because he had like a nervous breakdown. He's like, you know what? You beat me. Nervous what? breakdown, but you had he had a whole his whole fucking baseball on top of him. Did it? Yeah. Well, I wasn't really thinking about it because Team Flair is probably like one of the worst teams. Like Team Rocket was pretty weak, but Team Flair, no. Team Flair was just no. Team Galactic was crazy. Team Rocket failed twice. Magma team, and Aqua. I'm... Team Magma, maybe. Team Aqua, why? Freaking These dudes are on the side with the fucking chick from IGN. Like, no. No <laughs> fucking. It's no too much water. It's too much water. That, that should it's be fun. Team Magma's tagline. There we go. <laughs> team Magma, too much water. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So now that we're on Gen 3. Alright. Okay. Three. Now the real party gets started. Okay. I'm gonna open Next. up with this one. I, no, wait, never mind. Somebody else go. I've got. All right, some, I'm gonna open up. I've got the way I questions. got my Gen Three. So I'm going to the Dominican Republic. Ooh, ooh, we got a fun and story. I'm going with my cousin. Now, my cousin is playing Ruby. I'm playing that Naruto game that came with uh, that that. That was on the Nintendo, uh, like the Game Boy Advance. Yeah. So I'm playing Ninja that. Ninja Council 2? Huh? Ninja Council 2? Yeah. What? It was Ninja Council 2. So I'm playing that, and he's like, yo, that game looks cool. And I'm like, your game looks cool. He's like, yeah, it kind of is. I already beat it. You want to trade? I'm like, what? Bruh. He's like, yeah, you want to trade? trade. I see what I can do. Let me talk to my people. Yes. So I, I'm in the middle of the plane. I'm like, yes, I will trade. I would so definitely trade. That is a bad trade. So that is a very bad trade. I got, I got was. my. No, it's a bad trade on his cousin's part. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, because so... the Naruto game wasn't even that good. That your game was moved. And your, your health and your jock was the same. <laughs> that game was moved. Was I'm, over here, hey. I'm over here like, yes, I just got Pokemon Ruby for free. Oh, your first version was Ruby? Huh? Yeah, my first. Yeah, so I'm playing Ruby and I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> this game is amazing. I can see my reflection in, in the freaking the water. water. I'm oh. like, I'm having the most fun now. <laughs> Mind you, this I cho I did choose Blaziken for my for uh, for for my first my first time around. That giant fighting chicken. I went Trico. No, I had the worst <laughs> time with that. Yo, I couldn't I even get past the twins. Oh like, yeah, after that, I couldn't oh, get past yeah. the twins. Blaziken ain't doing shit. I fucked up. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, fuck this. I'm gonna reset, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just freaking. I'm gonna just freaking play what's it called. I'm gonna just replay it. So I choose Mudkip. And holy shit. Was that a good Mud idea? Mudkip was dropping souls, man. <laughs> Made the third, first <laughs> was walk. cake. And Jim Lee was cake. Third Jim Lee was cake because he was already a swamper and electricity wasn't even touching me. <laughs> but yeah. Done. My, fucking, my Gen 3 story, pretty much. I had a friend named Andrew. Yeah. His name was Andrew. <laughs> yeah, so he had Sapphire. He let me borrow it for a while. I was doing the crap out of it because one, he didn't even look like he was wearing a hat. Like I'm pretty sure all of us thought he had black and white hair, which was like fucking off it. Yeah, we all thought he had like black and white hair with a fucking handband. He was like the most badass looking trainer you could possibly play as. I actually chose uh, Monkey for the longest amount of time until Emerald, where I switched to fucking Blaze again. And I just fucking loved it. The secret base thing. There was no point to it, but it was still fun. It was nice to uh, have. I, yeah, you just had to have one because it was just like, oh, this is my place. I don't have to go back home ever again. I can just live here. I have money. I can go to the Pokemon. I can buy food. I got my own po Man, I'm set for life, that man. Fuck home. It actually felt like an adventure. Like, you'd be like, do these niggas ever sleep? Yeah, yeah, like you're going, in my you're going fucking right. club in my fucking tent, my fucking house, my fucking secret base. This is my location. My, yeah, like, I found it. After Gen 1 and Gen 2, <laughs> you own it. Nobody else has it. For real. Gen 1 and Gen 2 didn't have anything serious going with, going on with their teams. The Team Aqua and Team Magma, they were trying to like change the face of the earth. I'm about to go save the world. I mean, look at this. 
<laughs> you gotta save the world, Biggie Smalls. I'm saving the world. So then, oh man, I'll never forget this day. One day I'm surfing the waters because you know it's too much water, so I had to go surf. <laughs> too much fucking water. So, I'm near Pacific. I'm near like that freaking town. It's like in the middle of nowhere where you just like step on fucking wood to travel across the freaking place. It wasn't even like water. Just, like yeah. So I'm going in the area and I come across that fucking big ass tower. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is in here? Bruh. So at the time, um, I had like the acro bike because you know the willies. You couldn't go anywhere without doing the willie. Of course, of course. Oh yeah. I'm like, so I was like, yeah, I can't go anywhere else. So I go back, get the mock bike. And go all through that place. It takes me like 20 minutes because I'm like a little kid and my fucking coordination was horrible. And I kept on dropping in the holes and I got pissed. Finally make it to the top. And I see this big ass green thing. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? I thought Kyogre... Uh, what about Kyogre? What about this blue thing? I thought he was like the shit. Who is this guy? I'm like, okay, well, I could probably catch him. Get into a fight. This nigga's level 70. Wreck. Wreck. Mm. So I'm like, okay, well, he can't be that bad. First turn, outrage. Kills, Ooh, kills over with. Outrage, kills my swapper. I'm like, no. Throw my swallow. Outrage again. Wait, why can't he do that again? Throw another Pokemon. Kills that. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? He gets confused. I'm like, okay, sweet. So I'm whooping his ass. I'm whooping his ass. He uses extreme speed. Kicks my ass again. <laughs> so I'm whooping his ass. Whooping his ass. Yeah, he's in the red zone. I'm like, okay, I'm going to start catching him. Rest. Ooh. All the way back. The salt. <laughs> when I tell you I didn't catch that man for like another two days, uh, it, it just has so much. And I don't know about you guys, but I actually did the Pokemon contest because they were actually pretty fun. I got ribbons. They were fun. I did them too. Yeah, I got ribbons for that shit. Like, I actually beat like the master rank uh, thing and my fucking, what was it? Uh, I forgot what it was, but. I, I, beat, I beat like the master rank and I saw the picture of my Pokemon inside the uh, museum. I'm like, yo, I'm the shit. <laughs> this is, there was just like so much stuff that I can just keep doing. Yo, Puffins, yo, that was so much fun. Huh? Oh, making Poppins? Man! <laughs> Poppins was legit. That was my shit. I missed that. That was the shit, yo. I hope nah. they bring that back. Alright. So. So that was coming back to Gen 3. So. After Crystal, I take like a fucking seven year hiatus from Pokemon, forgetting about this shit. I got a PlayStation 2. I'm over here playing Jack and Daxter, motherfucking Rayman, Spyro. all that shit. Spyro, all that shit. All right. So my grandfather's like, yo, you want to go to Target with me? All right, sure, I'll go to Target with you. So, you know, we're chilling, moving through stuff, walking past him. He's like, yeah, you want a game? I just got a Game Boy. Had nothing for it. I had that Rayman game. Rayman, whatever the fuck it was, it was pretty bad. So, I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? I guess I'll get a game. I just broke my Mega Man in base because I couldn't beat it. So, I'm fucking <laughs> in there, and I'm like, shit, there's nothing in here. Uh, I saw that commercial for Pokemon. All right, I'll get Pokemon Fire Red. So, I pick up Fire Red. He's like, you sure that's all you want? You want another one? I'm like... All right, let me pick up Emerald, too. I can get two? I picked up Emerald. Not Ruby, not Sapphire, but Emerald. Back then, green was my favorite color. So I pick up Emerald, I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, I got these two games, uh, Pokemon, whatever. I used to play this shit back in the day. Go back to the house. I sit on my bed, I'm like, okay. Which one first? I tell you, I sat there for the longest amount of time ever in my fucking life, dude. I think about, not, think I about your place in the universe. I could like. not, in the fucking universe, I could not decide on which one. So I play Fire Red first. Not bad, yo, this is, this is the shit. Oh, the original starters? Okay, yeah, let me fucking play through this. All right, cool, I've had my fun with this. Let me put this down. Let's see what this emerald's like. Yo, I never put it down. <laughs> so I never remember Cory and his emerald. Thing. I pick up this game, and I'm like... What is this whole new fucking world? I, what the hell's it? Yo, I used to watch, I used to watch the anime, right? I used to watch the shit out of the anime. Yo, I'm like, wait a minute, they made a game about this? How much is in this world? It's only the beginning of the anime. I, I've never seen an Absol before. I mean, I saw it in the intro, but I don't know what it does. I gotta catch it. Yo, I played this game <laughs> for fucking it. ever. Normal, I right? named my rival. No, she's naturally named me. I named. What the fuck did I name my? Uh, I don't even remember. 
Whatever, yo. I played this game for fucking ever. So, on the point of what Drew was saying, you know, uh, in that game, it's required to go battle for Quasar. So, Luka, <laughs> fucking Kyogre and God, I know over here. This is my fucking planet. No, this is my fucking water. Talking shit. This man was like, yo, we need to go get Rayquaza. I'm like, what the fuck's a Rayquaza? I go up to this fucking thing, but which by the way, the first time you go in there has no holes in the ground. I'm like, cool, whatever, this should be easy. Nothing but fucking dust clots. So, I go in that bitch. No, nothing but fucking clay doll, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it was. Clay dolls and doll. Nothing but fucking clay dolls. So I go up there, and I see this giant green nigga, and I'm like, yo, you're the one on the cover. You're important. <laughs> I need you. Hello? And this nigga flies away, so I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Nah, so I gotta go get him. Maybe he fucking got on the Kyogre know what's going on. So I go back to them, and I'm like, they're still just sitting here. What's happening? Cutscene happens. I see this fucking dragon flying through the fucking sky. Comes with down. Just, with the comes God down with the most beauty. The sun parts in the under fucking water city. Yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and they just back off, yo. God. He's like, they hey, just back you, off. This nigga yeah, crazy and flies away. So I'm like, yo. I need him. I have to go get him. So I go he fly and power. fucking go through that same place. But I go up there and like Drew, I had the fucking acro bike. Niggas gotta do wheelies. Niggas gotta bounce like a boss. You know what I'm saying? You so need I'm like, well, shit, I can't get through these holes. I mean, how do I do that? That's the only time I get off the I mean, I'm not trying. So I'm over here like, how the fuck am I gonna? I wanna make how am I supposed to get over this? What do I do? How do I get past this? So I just leave because I can't do shit about it. After talking to, I shit you not, like everyone in this fucking town ever, I find out that the mock bike can get over holes and go over hills. That's what I need. So I go back to this man, and I go to fight Rayquaza, and I'm like, oh my god, I think I shit myself. <laughs> I saved before I fought him, yo, and I'm a little bitch. So I threw a master ball because I was scared to fight this nigga. You a bitch. <laughs> I'm a bitch, yo. I'm not even gonna lie. I straight bitched out. I was like, oh my god, he's, I, duh. So I catch this nigga, Elite Four, Outrage. I just chose it. I just chose it because I felt like it. Outrage, everything, over with. Beat the game, something about TVs. Oh, was it red or blue? I don't fucking know, I like red. There we go. Walking around, walking around. Hey, well, you know, if there's a fucking drought going on, it said that, you know, Groudon or something's in the area. For real? It's raining though. Whatever, let me just look around and see if I can find this shit. Cause it normally doesn't rain around here. I find a cave. Nothing but fucking smoke and a blue sh fucking puddle thing. So I'm like, yo, what's about to happen? So I take two steps before you get to this nigga and I'm like, that's a fucking Kyogre, yo. Hold on, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Save. <laughs> Save. It took me way too fucking long to catch this nigga, yo. Like, right on, Kyogre, it took me, I think I used like 83 Ultra Balls. It took me way too fucking long to catch this dude. <laughs> so I'm like, if I can get Kyogre, I can get Groudon. But on my way to Groudon, I'm running this fucking blue, this fucking yellow. I mean, damn, I don't even know my colors. I'm running this fucking red flying thing. I'm like, what the fuck's a Latias? Yeah. Oh, well, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, Brother. let me fight this nigga. I don't know, false swipe probably. I used to use false swipe a lot thinking he did a lot of damage. You know, I'm like, yeah, yo, it takes you down to like one HP, talking shit, not knowing what the hell's going on. So I use false swipe, and I'm like, yeah, what you about to do? Run. Run away. So I'm over here like, wait a minute. What? Huh? Hold on, let me check my Pokedex and find this nigga real quick. Scrolling down, scrolling down, get to the bottom. How the fuck did he get over there? All right, let me go over there. How the fuck is he over there? All right, I just ignore this nigga for a while. Go to get Groudon, catch this nigga Groudon after like 43 attempts. Now I'm out to go catch this motherfucker Latias. I leave a city, come back in the city. Leave a city, come back in the city. Every time I get to this dude, all right, paralyzed. Now what? Refresh. Shit. I, I just couldn't beat him. So I was like, all right, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go catch some other Pokemon and get a shit ton of strong niggas. I'm gonna I'm a mean look him. That's what'll work. <laughs> so I mean, look this Wait, nigga. And you already used your master ball too. See, in Sapphire, I already knew about that shit. So in Emerald, I'm like, you know what? I'm ready for this motherfucker. I master ball. Nothing, yo. So I'm like, all right, I can mean look him. Maybe I can do that. I couldn't find anything with me and look because I could. I didn't know where to go. I'm like, two bats are everywhere. No, Geo dudes and Whimsers are everywhere. So I'm like, fuck. What am I gonna do? So I go to the safari right. thinking there's some stuff in there. I run into a shuckle. I'm like, whatever, this thing looks shitty. I don't even need to bother with it. 
I should have called it damn shuffle. But I run into fucking Scyther. I love Scyther because he looks cool. That, was, like a that was a mistake. But then I run into Wobbuffet and I'm like, I'm not wasting my time with this fucking shit. And I try to run. But you can't run this mistake. So I was like, wait a minute. Son. Wait a minute. So. Wait a minute. I can't run from him. Latios can't. I caught six fucking Wobbuffets. <laughs> and I battled this nigga. And I was like, what the fuck are you gonna do now? I lost four motherfucking Wobbuffets that day, but I caught me a fucking Latias. <laughs> Emerald was First the game where I invested so much shit into it. Emerald was, was it was like, this is what Pokemon is to me. That was my shit. So, it was everything, man. You had the fucking contest. You can const you can refight the fucking Elite Four. You can refight gym leaders. It was the Battle Frontier, which I never successfully completed without using the fucking state save. I've only ever gotten three of those things, by the way. And I mean, <laughs> even then, like, they came through with the team thing because it wasn't like it's me against this one team. It was you against the team against the team against you. There was like, there were no sides, yo. Yo, I love Emerald intense. so much, man, because I played Sapphire and I knew Steven was champ. So when I got the battle alongside this dude, I was like, yo, Steven, I gotta fight you later on, man. But we we teaming up right now. Let's do this. So this whole update, <laughs> graphically, music was amazing, the musical update, everything about ORAS is what I'm thinking is gonna be good, except for what I don't like as far as I think. You don't too fight much. both teams. Too much water. Yeah, it's too much fucking water. So I just I just don't think I think that's the one thing I'm not gonna like. But I don't see any other, other problems with it. Other than that though, I'm probably I'm about to eat this game. Oh man, oh, like Uh Elsword, goodbye for a while, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is about to be the shit. I'm about to so, eat this game. My Xbox is gonna be put away for a while after this. Yeah. Yeah. This is the game no, I've been yeah. waiting for since I first knew about fucking remakes. What has it been like? I've been 12 waiting years? For, I've been waiting for this game since fucking Hard Gold and Soul Silver came out in all realness. Actually, I think it, I think it has been like 12 years. There's no fucking way. Hold on, I gotta look this up. Now. It came out. I think it came out in like what 2003. Yeah, it's been what 11, 12 years. It's been yeah, 11, 11 years. Four, yeah. 11 years. Yeah. I can't count for shit. Oh man, I feel old. We have been waiting for this shit. 2005. Oh no, year two, 2005. Japan, uh, yeah, 2005. So it's been nine years since that shit. Man, this is the this is the day we have been waiting for. Like, yeah. Oh uh, yo. It's gonna be fun. It's about to be on. Like, uh, so, yo, secret bases. Oh Everyone's God, getting yeah. to the spot. Everyone's like, about to okay. make their gym. So, 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 what kind of trainer are you guys gonna be with your secret bases? Oh, dark type, yo, what? Weavile, Hydreigon? I mean, those are kind of like the only two. Absol's pretty good, yeah. I can use a Mega Absol Magic Ball. Alright, I'm so bad. I'm gonna be an electric type. Nah, son, yeah, dark types all day. Everyone's gonna have a different. Uh, everyone's gonna have a different secret base. If y'all take my tree in the middle of the water, I'm shaking it somewhere. Ooh. Oh. She was Ooh. not having it. I call that tree. That's my hold tree. Hold on, hold on. Do not take Ooh. that tree in the middle of the water. That is my base. That is my fortitude. Tree in the water? My tr no, but the tree in the middle of the water. Oh. At the bottom of the sea. <laughs> it's my There's a hole in the, the bottom of the sea. What do you mean typing a uh, secret base? Well, you can have your own gym. You can have your own gym inside your secret base. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember what? that. I want my motherfucking Titar, Hydreigon, Hotchcrow, Weavile. Yo, these games came out in 2003. Greninja, hello? Maybe Sharp? Nah, Sharp, you don't It is about to get real. <laughs> like, it really uh, is. And a spirit to him, yo. Fuck with my team. I'm probably going to be in the water type gym. Because I want a fucking Gyarados. I want my Lodic. I want, oh, oh. Shit, yeah, my yo, man. I'm going to be in electric type gym, yo. I got to go with dark types, yo. That's, that's, that's the most. I'm going to go with my Jolteon. I'm fucking right, you. Gen no, I'm so fighting. Finally coming out and like... They're, okay, first of all, there are way too many fucking Megas, man. At this point, there are way too many fucking Megas. Uh, I think Tino said there were 48. There are way too many Megas, man. Way too many. I wouldn't say too many. I just don't want Pokemon that are only good for... Well, I guess that does expand the competitive Dude. ratio. It's yeah. just like a bunch of Megas, man. It's gonna be... Uh, like, they brought Beedrill in, and Beedrill's a fucking god. Mega Beedrill. Yo, Beedrill is so good. Mega Beedrill, Mega Beedrill is ridiculous. 
see if I can find the stats real quick. This is going to be glorious. Let's just see, all I gotta say is Gen three, man. Just Gen three, too much water. I hopefully I will uh, hopefully I will join you guys in uh, in ORS in a few months. Hey uh, man, take uh, just just make sure you get the thing, man, because uh, oh, we're gonna be fucking we're gonna, primals. We're gonna be battling so much, man. The story's about to be good as hell. Yeah, it really is. Oh, and did you know that it? Did you know that the Battle Frontier is actually gonna be there? I thought it was, isn't it like DLC or something? No. What? What? Yo, I need revenge against Brandon. Fucking nigga, Brandon. I'm gonna kick his ass. Ooh, FD and B. He's gonna be he, he's gonna be the first freaking uh, Frontier Brain I kill. Okay. I'm killing Brandon. Let me tell you this nigga. Let me let me tell you this nigga. Mega B just base stats. All right. Base stat is 65 for HP. Ain't that bad. My nigga has a base stat of 150 for his attack stat. Ooh. One. Ooh. Fucking 50. Who is this? Mega B drill. Holy. One. Fucking. 50. 150. Yo, what? 150. Bruh. 150. Bruh. But yeah, I think I think this we man should is as it. fast as regular Deoxys. Hey, I, I think we should end this though before, like you know, it gets out of hand. <laughs> All right, true, true. Main, main no, thing is, uh, Gen three is legit. Gen two is eh. I don't Gen see why. Is, uh, Gen one is Gen one. Gen five point two is the motherfucking shit. Gen six is competitive to Pokemon. Gen four, platinum, giggity. Yeah, pretty much. I'm yeah. never selling the Pokemon. Every Pokemon game I get from now on, I'm just never selling. Like, I'm, I'm about to have like every generation. Only one, I'm missing. Only one I'm missing right now was fucking the original Gen 3. I have Gen 1. I have Fire Red. I have Soul Silver. I have Platinum. I have Black 1. No, I have. Black 1. Black 1. I have White 2. I have X. I mean, I have Y. I'm about to get both these fucking Gen 3 games because Gen 3 is like make my dick rock hard. Right, it's yeah. just. We'll probably ugh. fucking do this fucking video shit again after the game. I don't know, give it like three, two weeks after right, yeah. where we get enough experience okay. of the game. Yeah. A few more things I have so questions about. No, no, no. Right, Let's, do one after... Let's do another one after we all beat the game so we just talk about our, um, our experience. Word. All right. All right, yo. Yeah. Oh, I, got a, I got a few questions. Go for you know how in like every game. There's a building you can't go into, or there's some doors that you can see but you can't go through. Yeah. I really want them to do something with that in this remake. Cause and uh, cause I remember there was this house and uh, I forget the name of the town, but it's the place with the uh, with the like NASA. Uh, oh, the space station. Yeah, the space station. That town. Is there's that a monster? building in there. It's full of boxes. And behind boxes is a light coming out from behind the boxes, but nothing you can do can get through the boxes. And I'm just wondering, what's back there? Exactly. And in every Pokemon game, there's one. There's one door you can't get through. Yo, Gen 6 still scared the fuck out of me with that lady. But let's just not bring that back up. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> no, no, only said only said though because you just brought that shit up. I'm like, yo. It's scary as fuck, cause you know you don't know what the fuck is back there. <laughs> but hey, that space battle between fucking Rayquaza and Deoxys, looking forward to that shit. Yes. Turns out the whole game is about Rayquaza and uh, and Deoxys. Yeah. Oh my goodness, man. Yes. Ah, I need to hurry get this game. <laughs> oh, and hold on, I'm I'm actually surprised that uh, what's his name, that Rayquaza isn't a primal. Oh, yo, let me bring this back up real quick. I'm sorry to cut you off on that, but May. Now, May was not a threat, but May wasn't your rival. May was your friend. Wally! That's like the whole difference between Silver and May. Wally May was, was your, your friend from the beginning. There was never a time where you didn't like her. She was your friend. She never had anything against you. It was just like, oh, you're on a Pokemon journey too. All right, well, uh, let's battle. Like, after you beat the champion, she said, congratulations, nigga. There was no, fuck, I was too late. No. Like, May was your friend. I, I just love both of their uh, designs in Emerald. Like, I like uh, May's uh, Ruby and Sapphire look, but both of the designs in Emerald. Ah, the most badass looking trainer. And now you know that he's wearing a hat. Like, yeah. everything is just. <laughs> it's all good, though. 
he was still the best rival ever. Yes, he is. I hope. I hope. All right. I hope to see. You know, because I love her, Cynthia. It's probably not gonna happen. In, definitely not gonna happen. Hugh. Those who I want in the game. We're probably gonna end up seeing Cynthia. I probably don't doubt that. Some way or another, we're gonna see her. Yeah, I'm sure Cynthia's in there. I doubt we're gonna see in, and he was your rival in a different game, so you're definitely not gonna see him. You leave him alone. He's the shit. I mean, you <laughs> can say that, but oh, yo, if they bring up another chance, if they make it like another tournament thing, being stop, uh, yeah, like champ, oh, except rival style. Ooh, nah, yo, we can't go any further than this. We're gonna fucking pick this up when we're done with the game. All right, bye.